What's up guys, it's Thorn here, and welcome to a new series on my channel called Indie Exploration, where I take a look at some indie games that are free to play or really, 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 really cheap, and I give them a quick blind playthrough. Quick, no, just a one-off. I won't be repeating the same game twice in this series, but my goal here is to hopefully get some indie developers a little bit of exposure, but also to sort the crap from the gold. Basically, to tell you if I would recommend a purchase so that you can feel a little bit safer about your purchasing decisions as well. Today, I'm going to be playing an indie game, a strategy game, called Starshift. This game has not yet been fully released. It is only available as a demo. Right off the bat, one problem I can already see with it, there is no option for a windowed mode. It has to be done full screen, which, especially for me, is a bit of a pain in the butt, because I'm trying to record here, and there's some utilities on that I normally have on screen that I can't see right now. Anyway, here is the uh, actual background information for this game. The year is 2357. In the future! Humans have explored the stars. No, they've explored the planets. They can't get near stars without burning up, dumbass. And colonized many worlds under the authority of the Earth Systems Alliance. Yeah, colonized. And then they actually forced the indigenous people there to live on reservations. And although a hundred years later, people start to regret what the ancestors did... They're not going to actually give them their land back, because they'd never do that. Under the authority of the Earth Systems Alliance, a government controlled by powerful interstellar organizations, you know, Walmart, ExxonMobil, Citibank, and Electronic Arts. An alliance in name only, it is in reality a brutal empire. And I think off-screen, Donald Trump just splooged a little. The Earth Systems Alliance is embroiled in a civil war with a faction known as the Novus Federation. They are made up of former ESA colonists, corporations, and military personnel. Corporations who were driven into bankruptcy by the founders of the ESA, and military personnel who oppose Alliance rule and actively undermine ESA activities. But both sides have committed war crimes on civilian populations, cause, you know, you either live to be the- you either die the hero, or you'll live long enough to see yourself become the villain. This has destabilized the balance of power in the region, creating CHAOS! FEATURES! TACTICAL BATTLE SYSTEM! Cause, you know, this is a strategy! Over 100 playable characters, all of whom are completely interchangeable, Epic, epic space opera storyline, branching story arcs, like it branches in exactly two spots, and basically the only differences are cosmetic. Over 100 hours of repetitive, tedious grinding, you get to build a base and an empire. An active time battle system, whatever the hell that means, multiple side quests and short stories. Multiple, as in, there's going to be at least two. Starship and human combat. And a cast system, where you can force people into a specific job whether they want it or not. And an amazing soundtrack, which doesn't mean anything. I mean, you could have the soundtrack just be the sound of a telephone calling a fax machine, and you could technically call that amazing because that's completely subjective. Now, I know what some of you people are thinking. Dude, you're not even giving this game a fair shake. No, actually I am, because I'm going to be playing this game. It could be glorious, it could be a piece of crap, or it could be anywhere between those two extremes. I'm just telling, I'm just trying to get you guys to not get your hopes up. For all we know, this game could just be a broken, glitched out mess. Do not get your hopes up, alright? Anyway, this, uh, the... Inspiration for Starshift. Pretty, some pretty impressive sources of inspiration. Mass Effect, Star Trek, Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger. Some pretty impressive stuff right there. I'm gonna, I, I mean, 
maybe he, I mean, for all we know, he does completely doesn't even get these, th these, this source material, and he's just gonna crap all over it, but, hey, let's at least get, let's get, withhold judgment until we actually play the demo. Alrighty. Now, let's start a new game. The year is 2357. Humans have explored the stars and colonized. Yeah, I already did that. In an alliance and it did they baby the me 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 already there's the me 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 Huh. Most of the scientific and engineering talent within the Alliance lives in space. Vast stations act as economic, scientific, and military hubs for Alliance activities. So the most of the planets aren't even inhabitable. Earth is the center of government for the ESA. It is dirty, crowded, and overdeveloped. People need to stop having sex, then! Introduction of alien plant and animal life has changed the ecosystem. Oh god, more kudzu! This gives Earth unpredictable and challenging ecological problems for the local population. Uh. Alrighty. Almost to the core, this madness will finally come to an end. Madness! This is Novus! Alrighty. Um, I can click, and that causes him to move. I can also use the arrow keys. Why can't I... Okay, for the final release of the game, I would like the ability to switch to WASD keys. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, split stream chamber core. Um, this looks like it should have hurt me. Is this just a glass floor that I'm walking on? Uh, this all stops right here, right now. Yeah, you tell that inanimate object that can't even understand you. The quantum chip must be destroyed. All right, just st lay it on the ground and stomp on it. Problem solved. Oh, who are you? You don't want to do that, Ray! I wouldn't do that if I were you! This chip has caused nothing but destruction of countless worlds. It ends now! Then why are you even talking to him? Just stomp on the damn thing. Huh, get back! Get back! I got a pea shooter in my pants and I'm not afraid to use it. I will jizz on your face if you don't get back. Ray, if you destroy the quantum chip, all of this goes away. Our reality. The universe will implode in on itself. It'll create a black hole and kill everyone. We won't remember this event happened, even happened. So? If you destroyed that chip, you're sealing the fate of humanity. The hell even is that platinum chip? Give me the chip, Ray! I'm sorry it has to end like this. It's over now. Oh, look at this. People are all stand. They're not even sitting. The time has come for the ESA to implement. The plan. Oh no, not the plan! We cannot allow this conflict to escalate through the air. The revolt could spread to other worlds. This would threaten the progress we've made thus far. Okay, so what exactly is the plan? Come on, 
Somebody's... Director. That may be too drastic. If this plan is discovered by the public, it could mean the end of the ESA altogether. I thought you guys were already a totalitarian state. What do you care if the public finds out? There are always risks. The VCC was created by the Founders for exactly this sort of scenario. Oh, okay. The virtual space provides a private meeting place for us to form policy, free from the prying eyes of that nasty, dirty public. The virtual council, corporate council, was founded over 200 years ago. It represents the ESA's 100 most powerful, most profitable Fortune 500 companies. What's good for us is what's good for the public. Even if they don't know it. Alrighty, so... A something Mosquito. They're dropping out of warp and entering a debris field, Commander. Okay. Okay, question. Do you mean they're entering a debris field, comma, Commander? Or is a debris field, Commander, what they are entering? And if it is the latter, what exactly is a debris field coming under? Ugh. Come on, take us out of warp and begin scanning for the ship. Yes, ma'am! We've dropped out of warp, sir. The debris field is interfering with our scans. They've opened fire! Well, you're in a war, what did you expect, dumbass? Begin evasive maneuvers, and return fire! Or, you know... Don't you actually, like, train people to do that on their own? Instead of you telling them to begin evasive maneuvers, why don't you just tell them... Why don't you just train them to just do the evasive maneuvers without you having to tell them? <sighs> Alrighty, Mosquito. Health, 450. Start... Power is 90. But this Mosquito is the only unit I apparently have right now. So, okay. Alright, let's see if we can suck their blood out. Or wait, I can't, I can't even start the battle yet. Alright, Mosquito. Um... Uh, start... Begin battle, yes. Alright! Ow! That hurt, a-hole! Move, attack! Um... Oh, do not give me that! I am giving you a clear instruction right now! Attack the enemy ship, damn it! Ugh. Spet. Okay. And. Oh, shut up! How do I attack? Raise Zerna and Reader and the Mosquito. Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. Do I move? Here. Okay, good, good. There we go. Huh. Okay, so... These squares are the spaces where each unit can move. And the, and the red squares are the range for the attack. Um, let's move here. Ow! Oh, turds. Okay. Move and attack. Oh, I can't move either. 
I can't attack twice in one turn. Um, let's face this way. Ow! Alrighty, uh... My mosquito has 408 health left. So... 41. There we go. Alright, now that... Now he's dead. Okay, so... That's, uh... I have a... I have range of fire and range of movement. The ship has been destroyed, sir! However, our communications array was damaged in the attack. We are lost in space with no way to call for help. Thank you, Chief. Stand down tactical alert. And get started on repairs immediately. Because apparently I have to tell you that. Oh, and while I'm at it, don't forget to wipe your ass when you go to the bathroom. Lieutenant, take us back to warp. Resume our original course. Yes, ma'am! Um, uh, I've nearly finished repairs on the communications array, sir. Yeah, that only took like 30 seconds. So, yeah, apparently you just needed to tell me to do it and presto chancho. Good. Let me know when it's back online. Yes, ma'am! The Final Academy review is quite impressive. In seeing Valenti. Whoever the hell you pronounce that. Dude, learn where to put your commas! You spent only three weeks at Centurion Station. It must feel like quite an accomplishment to be so far ahead of the pack. Thank you, sir. It was quite a challenge, but I was lucky to have excellent instructors. Also, I blew my way to a passing grade. You won't believe how sexed up how much they don't get none from their own wives. How are you adapting to life aboard a starship? I'm doing alright, sir. My parents were both freight captains, so I spent a lot of time in space. Okay, I get a choice of dialogue here. Yeah. Your parents took a child on freight runs? That's a direct violation of child protection. Of the child protection mandate. Easy, Lieutenant. The life of a freight hauler is difficult. Families do what they must to stay together. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want any. You don't want her to accidentally board the wrong ship that only has just enough fuel to reach its destination, and so the pilot of the ship has no choice but to jettison her off into space and kill her. Because, you know, that would kind of suck. Best if you keep your, an eye on your kids. So both of your parents were freight captains. You must have had some pretty exciting stories. None of which I'm sure we'll, I, you're going to regale us with in this game. Sir, the comm is back online and we have an incoming priority one to message. Yeah, my pizza was overcooked, damn it! You're fired! Ugh, priority one? That's highly unusual. Put the message through, Chief! Yes, sir. The reclamation facility on Osiris, one, tw on Osiris 2 has been attacked by terrorists. You know, as opposed to been attacked by... by missionaries trying to spread the word of their god. You know, you know, cuz you know, just to make sure, just to make it clear, it's I mean, terrorists aren't the only ones who go on terrorist sprees, you know. You are ordered to report there immediately. Do we have any other information? Reports indicate the terrorists are heavily armed and have killed several reclamation workers already. Command wants this dealt with once <sighs> Once and for all, you are to engage the hostiles and end this threat for good. This order also includes supporters of the terrorists who are not directly engaged in combat. Non-combatants? Oh god, killing civilians. Central Command must have lost its 
balls. We have trouble as it is keeping order out here. Look, I don't want... I don't make the rules, I just follow them. If you have a problem, you need to take it up with Central Command. And, you know, that's gonna involve, like, at least six months worth of bureaucracy before you even get a response from them. Understood. Mosquito out. Insane Valente set a course for our Cyrus 2. Engage! Okay, I can definitely see the Star Trek inspirations. Sir? We've arrived at Osiris 2. Hail then, Lieutenant. Wait, do you mean hail, comma, then, comma, Lieutenant? Like with an N rather than an M? Or do you mean you want us to hail the people of this planet? Oh god, proof read your effing dialogue! Yeah, sure. The SC, the ESA Navy. Thank you for answering our distress call. We could really use your help down here. So I'm playing f as the ESA. Um, so I'm supposed to be playing as the totalitarian state in this game. You're injured. Do you require medical assistance? No, we have medical supplies on hand. We need assistance in dealing with these violent terrorists. What happened? We were attacked an hour ago and barely escaped with our lives. It was a horrifying experience. Cause, you know, that's not redundant at all. You know, terrorist attacks aren't always horrifying. Ugh. Do you have any other information on these terrorists? Who are they? What are they after? Are they Nova sympathizers? The booms discussed the most interested in agricultural equipment predicated at the fine dump. Then they attacked us out of nowhere and took us by surprise. Ugh. What, I, what the hell? Oh. Oh my god. What happened? Um, wait, what the hell did I just do? Did, it was I... Then they attacked us and took a... Okay, so... This is the bottom. Oh, okay. There we go. Farm dump? Like... All the excess... All the farm equipment that you no longer need, you just dump it in some trash bin or something? As you know, this planet is the only processing facility in the sector. The farm dump is where broken and outdated agricultural equipment is recycled. We think that they may have managed to reprogram some of our drones. They've become aggressive. These, we sent the security team after them, but lost contact with that team not long ago. We have no idea what's going on in there. We need your help. Are you near the farm dump? Yeah, here are the coordinates. We are on our way. Hold your position and wait for our arrival. Thank you, Commander. We really manage you around. I can't imagine what hardened terrorists would want with broken farming equipment. The, he literally just told you. They've reprogrammed the drones to be fighters. <sighs> Lieutenant Gustav, Insign Valente, you're both coming with me to the surface. Huh. Yes, yeah. Sir, shouldn't you stay on the ship? We don't know what's going on down there. I need to see it for myself. Chief Otto. Sir? You have command of the ship while we are on the surface. Yes, sir! I'll also send down a dozen Protectron drones to provide backup and cover fire. Prepare for transport! 
Grab a med kit and guess we get injured! Alrighty! Thanks the stars you're here! We thought we were finished! Oh wait, sorry, that's the- sorry, wrong voice. Thanks the stars you're here! We thought we were finished! How many of them are there? Well, not quite sure. We didn't really get a good look. Maybe 30? Didn't you speak to them earlier? We didn't actually speak to them. They appear to be ordinary customers. I see. How did we get into this facility? The pretty entrance is to the west, but there are far too many drones in that part of the facility. So we shouldn't go that way. Dumbass. No shit, Sherlock. To the east, you'll find a magnetically filled blast door. This is an underground entrance to the facility. Did your security detail go in through that eastern entrance? Yeah, and we ain't no contact since they went inside. We never anticipated that the Nerans would be able to activate our security drones. Here's the ID card you'll need to open the underground entrance. Thank you. Oh no, watch out for Bertha. Bertha? A class 12 drone. How did you come into possession of a class 12 drone? They're not legal for civilian use. Uh, well, I think it might. We'll talk about this later. We need to take care of the immediate problem first. Be careful. Kill them before they kill those. Alrighty. Oh, look at this. Destroy birth a class 12 drone. An ESA class 12 drone is on the loose. It's causing havoc within the Osiris farm dump facility. Get past automated security drones. Destroy Bertha. Eliminate any rebel presence in the area. Objectives. Get past automated security drones. Destroy Bertha and eliminate all terrorist insurgents. Rewards. ESA reputation increased by five. All right, let's do this. Ugh. No. What? Ah, uh, there we go. Um. Okay. So let's slip around here. Huh. Hmm. There's this. Um with this truck thing. Um. Use the Cyrus 2 key. There we go. I guess this is one of the drones we were warned about. Alright, turn-based combat time. Hmm. So instead of a strategy game, this honestly starts to fe is feeling more like a turn-based RPG game. Oh. Um. Uh, what's rapid fire? Five power combat steroids. Built directly into the uniform, these steroids keep the soldier fighting. So is that health recharge? Is that health power up, or is it a temporary buff to one eye attack? Rapid fire, when t temporarily set to full auto mode, randomly hits enemies. Scans the enemy for weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Let's do let's see if we can get some information. Uh alrighty. Defense drone. Um six HP left, health twelve. Okay, so these guys Okay, so it definitely looks as though I got this, okay. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. And let's just spam attacks. Alrighty. So these health drones are apparently the Goombas of this game. Gained experience. So it's 
It's a turn-based RPG, even though it's called, even though it's promoted on Steam as a strategy game. What the hell? False advertise. I mean, I love me a good RPG. Don't get me wrong, but you shouldn't lie about it. Hey guys, Acer Thorn here on post commentary. Uh, I just wanted to clarify something. Even though I said in the recording that this was a turn-based strategy game, upon closer inspection, it turns out it wasn't marketed as such after all. Basically, I found this demo while I was searching for uh, strategy games to play, and I d and I found it that way. So I assumed, naturally, that it was a strategy game. Unfortunately, as you can clearly see from this screenshot, the developers are clearly marketing it as an RPG game. So, I would, I owe this game and its developers an apology, at least on this respect. All the subsequent criticisms I'm gonna have at the game still hold. But, at least on this one, uh, criticism that I give it, uh, I take it back because it turns out I was wrong. Alright, back to the game. <sighs> Anybody who watches my channel regularly knows that I love me a good RPG. Okay. Golden credit cards. Is that the currency for this game? Hmm. I mean, anybody who watches my channel n regularly knows that I love me a good RPG. But don't make an RPG and then promote it as a, a turn-based strategy. All right? Cause that just, that's just unethical. Keep your eyes open, there are certain to be more of these things around. Yeah. Alrighty then. Enter here? Oh, hello. Alrighty. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, let's... Huh. Weapon charges power for a concentrated blast. Oh, what? Oh! So this must be what increases my attack power temporarily, and this is restoring health. All right. Which player am I currently playing, guys, though? Shredder Drone A. Alright. Alright. Do we also get Krang Drone in this game? Ow. Okay. Can you, like, show the enemy on screen? Please? That would actually be kind of funny. That would actually be kind of fun to actually get to see the enemy on screen. Alright, Shredder Drone B. And he is now dead. Alrighty. Murphy's at level 5. Valenti and Gustav are both level 2. Level up. Gustav has reached level 2. Nice. Unfortunately, there's only the auto increase in stats uh, is the only reward I seem to get when I level up. I don't appear to get uh, like anything that I can strategically assign, like a perk point or maybe even some bonus stat points that I can use to increase my stats even further or anything else. Every it, uh, leveling up appears to be a 100% automated process. Not gonna lie, not a big fan of such a mechanic. Uh, the whole point of an RPG, the whole point of a role-playing game is the ability to role-play. The ability to actually create, uh, my own character and roll my class. Roll a class of my choosing. So we, for the final game, we need to have something to, that we can actually strategically assign to our characters when we are leveling up. So, I also got a small battery. What the hell am I going to be using that for? Alrighty. And... 
Alrighty then. Oh, look at this. Received five med kits and one grenade. Huh. So apparently... Okay, that took me completely by surprise. Okay. Whoa, Valenti? Dude. Alrighty. Attack. Or wait. Yeah, attack. That gets you out of the way in one shot. Alrighty, special. Power. Power. Yeah, shoot that enemy that isn't even on screen. Kill him in one shot. Alright, Gustav, it looks like, is going to be leveling up now. Yeah. Oh, and she now she's reached level 3. Ugh. At 170 of these currencies that I don't really see know what the name is for, for them. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. Um... Uh, Okay, for the end, for the final release of this game, how about a brief animation where the enemy actually explodes after you defeat him? No, no, just a, just a minor suggestion. It's it's not like nearly as annoying as the as the lack of com commas in the correct places in your dialogue, or the fact that the leveling up has no like personalization to it, and it's certainly not nearly as annoying as the fact that it's basically just false advertising that you're calling this a turn-based strategy game. Alrighty. Hmm, farm dump underground. Can I... do... that? What's, what the, what's this control panel? I, I can't apparently interact with it. Oh. There's a med kit over there. Gotta go through this a-hole to get it. Yeah, at this point, honestly... Oh, God. I don't get my health restored when I level up? The hell? Oh, and Valenti is now... dead. Die. Ugh. And attack. I can't even see what's happening on screen. Ugh. Attack. Alrighty. And... More level ups. More experience, more unspecified currency. Hey, uh, let me see if I can heal up. Items. Use on you. Alrighty. There we go. Alrighty, there, there we go, there we go. Five epin... epinefrine shot the hell is that um skills okay we'll revive users who are near death do i use that in the middle of battle max health plus 40 percent so basically this is just another um hmm wait why is it that at the top it says 35% HP recovery, but then down below it says 40% HP recovery? Weird. Alrighty. Um... 
honestly, okay, farm dump underground. <sighs> left or right? Let's go left. Um, okay, that looks like the place where I go to progress. So let's go back and check, see what's in here. See this. Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, I can't even straddle the line here. Huh. So I can't even interact with this. Okay. I can only assume that this is something they have planned for in the final release of the game. Because this little section here is totally pointless. Alrighty, let's head up here. And... Hmm... Go, what's up here? I, I wonder if that'll take me to the, to the next area to actually advance the plot, so let me check down here instead. Oh! Okay, hey, I can actually see you on screen! Isn't that something? It's barely on screen, like, you're really, like, off to the side, but it's... I can still see you! There we go. Oh, and there's another one off... That, who is still off screen, jeez, oh. Stop it! Stop it! Ugh. I'm got a 2560 by 1440k monitor. If this is because if this is happening because the game is assuming that it's gonna have a much bigger space, you know, like screen to use, why? Why should? Why would you design a game with the assumption that somebody's gonna have a 4K monitor? A 2K monitor should be plenty, especially since this is clearly 16-bit graphics. Hell, a 320 by 240 resolution would be sufficient for graphics of this caliber. Ugh. Alrighty, attack, more attack. Right now, I can already tell you, the combat in this game is not very engaging. It's not very fun. It's basically just trade blows back and forth until one of us win. Until one health bar, it gets completely depleted. And why is it that ever I can see everything else on screen just fine? The enemies are the only thing that appear to be off screen. Uh, level 4, level 4. And I've also acquired some knowledge, whatever the hell that means. Stop with these notifications. I Uh Maybe the reason why you marketed this as a turn-based strategy is because you knew that the actual RPG elements of this game sucked ass! I mean, the combat is just back and forth trading blows until the health bars inevitably reach zero. There's nothing compelling about that. We've made it th inside the farm dump facility. Get your weapons ready. We likely have hostile forces just behind this blast door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My communicator. Ding, 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 ding. Commander Murphy, come in. This is Otto. Go ahead, Chief. You're detecting. We're detecting signals broadcasting at 1.4 gigahertz. Because apparently the frequency, that specific frequency, is. Dangerous? Question mark? A standard command uplink signal. That means we can take all these drones out in one hit. The signal is coming from two sources. One located deep within the facility. The other signal is coming from your current location. It appears to be set up as a dead man's switch. 
What's a dead man switch? In order for the signal to be shut down, it must be deactivated from both computer terminals at the same time. Auto route. Lieutenant Gustav, Ensign Valenti, go ahead and find that second terminal. Contact me when you've found the term second terminal and will shut down the signal. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Alrighty, so we now only have a party of two. Oh. Intruders detected initializing termination protocol. Why are they why do they get dialogue but none of the others get it? Alrighty, special combat stir rapid fire. Let's go ahead and do rap let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now you're dead. And I don't have any power. So As in addition to being able to see the enemies on screen, I would actually I would also like to know how much damage I'm doing and how many hit points he has left. <sighs> Alrighty. All right, okay. They're coming in. I can see them while they're attacking me, but not while I'm attacking them. Ugh. There. Get just die already. Back and forth, back and forth. There's like no strategy to this. And for a game that is that is marketed on Steam as a turn-based strategy, I would actually like to have a little bit of strategy in my turn-based strategy games, thank you very much. Ugh. Alrighty, attack again. Attack, 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 attack. Alrighty. Special. I need 10 power for special. So let's go ahead and, uh... You. That didn't do a damn thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, thank you. Now he's dead. Jesus. If I had known I was only one hit away, I wouldn't have even wasted that item. Damn. Oh, why did that guy get an explosion animation, but the others didn't? Items. Use. And... Alrighty. And... Alrighty, that's the last of the med kits. Huh. Um. Found the other terminal. Oh, look at this. I got myself a. Uh, oh, look, more med kits. Great, great. Now we can continue the mediocrity. Items, weapons. Use. I can't eat. How do I equip it then? Ugh. Alrighty. Oh, God. I'm gonna try and skip you, honestly. See, this is the pro. This is a big problem with this. Ugh. I should want to. I should be wanting to fight these guys because they are tough. Because they are... Because they're actually fun... Because the combat is fun. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Power. Rapid shot. There we go. There we go. Oh, and it took both of them out in one hit. 
Good. There's no strategy to this combat. Ugh. Okay, where's that other terminal? Um... Let's... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! This was all just one great big dead end. <sighs> Wrap it. Oh, screw you, game! <sighs> I can't even tell how much health these, these drones even... That drone B even has. Five damage inflicted and rapid fire. Ugh, how are you not dead yet? Defense drone E, okay, six damage. And die. All right, that brings you down. <sighs> you reached level five. Duh. All right, Eddie, there we go. This was a dead end anyway. <sighs> or maybe not. Maybe not. <sighs> if only this everything in this dungeon didn't look exactly the same, it might actually be kind of fun to explore a bit. That is definitely a dead end. Alrighty, up here... Oh god. No, oh, do not come... Do not come at me! Do not come at me! Alrighty. And... Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. Door. Nice. Oh, you know, I don't even have an animation of me going through the door. Then fade to black, and then unfade, and I'm here. I mean, this is just a demo, but still. It's only 16-bit. I figured you'd be capable of something like that. Am I back where I started? Oh my god! Okay, that... That guy apparently can see me. But he seems to be trying to follow the path of least resistance. So if I if I get him stuck behind a wall, he'll get stuck. Kinda like the teeth monsters from Chip's Challenge. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. Yep. Once they okay, once they see you, you need to slow the enemies down a bit, because once they see me, it's virtually impossible for me to outrun them. <sighs> Defense drone B. That this will do, I think, five damage. And this will also do five damage, I think. Yeah, he should. He still got one more health point left. Ow! Ow! Oh, beautiful! Oh, beautiful! <sighs> You're still not dead! You are still not dead! <sighs> Alrighty. Okay, so it can only work this only does anything if I, he's dead. All right. Thank you. And I can't even. Oh, that re that restored my health. All righty. Um, scan combat steroids. Okay, heal 
This heal, this should heal. Built directly into the uniform. These studs keep these soldier fighting. Instead of that, why don't you just tell me... Why doesn't it just say plus X amount of health or plus X amount of power? <sighs> Attack. There we go. And... Die. Ah, oh, die. Ugh, get off me. Come on, all right. No, no, nah, dad, dad, don't care, don't care. Don't care. Oh, dead end. Dead end. Okay, he sees me, but he can't catch me. How does he see me through walls? Anyway. Oh, God. Nope, nope. Stay. No! <sighs> okay, only one this time around. That's good. And. Ah, die. I need to get. Oh, he took away some of my charge. Well, that was nice of him. Alrighty. When I level up, I should get my health restored. My health my, and my power should both be fully replenished. Alrighty. Stop! Steam! I get your point. Ugh. Alright. Not gonna lie. Not exactly liking this game up to this point. Not really a fan. Oh! Ah! Okay, if I die on this, I'm not even gonna bother anymore. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Ah! All right, come here. Items. Da. Okay, twelve HP. That. Why? I didn't even get a chance to attack! What the. What the hell? Ah, uh, screw this. Special combat steroids. Oh, that didn't even do anything. You know what? Ugh, just kill me. And you're going to take another two turns, aren't you? Yep. And I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, look at this. Honestly, I don't even care at this point. Seven damage. But you know what? <sighs> Part Rest Gustav's party was defeated. You died, loser! Oh, shut up! Well, that was episode one of Indie Exploration. Do I recommend this game? No, not unless they really, really step up their game. They need to add some actual strategy to this ostensibly turn-based strategy game. They need to tighten up the grammar. They need to tighten up the on-screen battle animation so that I can actually see the enemies. And they need to—they need to make it so that it's actually a there's actually some strategy here. And they need to decide if they want to be a strategy game or an RPG. Either one is fine, but pick a genre 
and advertise it correctly. Anyway, this has been Indie Exploration, Star Shift. Until next time, however, I am Acerthorn, and I will see you guys later.